What's happening guys and welcome back to the channel for today's video We're gonna be checking out the Transformers Legacy United Deluxe Class Rescue Bots Universe Autobot Chase and it's actually mental that Rescue Bots is now old enough that we are seeing updates of some of the original characters in the Generations line But when you think about it, it actually makes perfect sense as the TV show is now coming up to be around 15 years old It was a fantastic entry point for so many Transformers fans Hasbro once again smacking that nostalgia button and unfortunately Unfortunately, Transformers Rescue Bots never had a proper mainline, so any of the figures that have been previously released for this character have all been incredibly gimmick heavy. So it is wicked to finally see these character designs done justice, and I would love to see more Rescue Bots designs in the Transformers Legacy line, and this is a fantastic update. They haven't stylized him too much for the most part. This is near enough a one-to-one -one match to how he did appear on the series. So as we check out the details, the face sculpt is brilliant. I mean, check out the mechanical paneling that we have surrounding the mouthpiece, the sheriff badge, slap bang and center and I also love the accurate placement of the light bar directly behind the head that's really sick the chest design is really cool this will be something that I'll discuss a little more on once we check out a few of the comparisons because personally I just think this mold in general screams repaint and retool potential I really don't think this is the last that we're going to be seeing from this guy but check out the accurate blasters that we have on either sides of the forearms the leg design is so well done because from both the front side and in particular the back they are so clean and sleek and the entire back profile for this guy I think is pretty banging I mean check this out there is next to no kibble so all in all it's just an incredibly strong looking robot mode and so far these legacy united figures have been killing it now in terms of his articulation the head is on a ball joint so it can look up it can look down as well as rotate left to right the shoulders are a little awkward in their design because they kind of suffer from the hot rod slash rise of the beast optimus prime syndrome because the way they articulate is kind of weird thankfully they don't bump into the side of his head unlike optimus prime so that's pretty cool but unfortunately we can't quite get 90 out of those if you want to move them forwards and backwards you're going to have to kind of flex them past this tiny bit of back kibble but once you do that you definitely do get a pretty decent range there's a bicep swivel and elbow bend no wrist articulation although for some strange reason the wrist can articulate forwards and backwards and this is not due to transformation nor due to how he holds any of his accessories so again this does make me wonder if maybe this joint exists for an upcoming retool I guess only time will tell the waist can rotate all the way around he has a fantastic high kick I mean check that that is pretty sick for a Generations Deluxe. They'll also kick roughly back to that far, out to the side, a thigh swivel, 90 degree bend here at the knee, and then finally the ankle pivot is really awesome because not only can it rock inwards, but it can also rock outwards, which is amazing, especially for getting this guy into some of the slightly more dynamic poses. So I think this is an excellent figure. It really is pretty faithful to how he did appear in the show, and just as a general Deluxe class is brilliantly articulated. So yeah, definitely I'm excited to see this mold revisited in the future, potentially for an animated lockdown. I mean, could they make lockdown out of this mold? You guys let me know down below. I definitely think it's possible. Now, as we check out Chase's accessories, you guys are looking at two of them. So, these blasters are individual. You can remove them if you want, although I believe it is screen accurate to have them attached onto the sides. Both of them are blast effect compatible so that you can have Chase punishing the Decepticons on the battlefield. And then the third final and possibly best out of the bunch, we get his classic Energon Capture Claw, which has been brilliantly detailed as well as really nicely cast in this transparent blue. I personally love how the claw encases over the top of the hand to give you the impression that it has transformed out of the forearm, much like it did in the series. So that's really cool. These pieces are individual, so if you wanted to, you could break this apart into three individual components, which I'll show you guys a little bit more of once we check him out in the vehicle mode. And for those wondering, the light bar behind the back is not removable. This is a permanent fixture so if they are to reuse this mold down the line which I'm pretty certain they will then this is definitely an area which they're going to have to completely retool in order to get rid of it but accessory wise he definitely does come with the essentials everything that I would expect from a rescue bots chase now, as we check out a few comparisons, on the left-hand side, we have Rescue Bots Chase, compared to the right, which is the Robots in Disguise Universe Strong Arm. Now, when Legacy very first kicked off with the first wave, I never in a million years thought that once it would get round to year three and year two, we would be seeing characters from some of the slightly more recent animated shows. It's mental, and it's also brilliant, because both of these amazing characters originally never had decent action figures of themselves, whereas I now think we are looking at the best releases that they've ever got. So, super excited times cannot wait to see as to what other animated universes they tap into for the future which, talking of, here we have another animated universe that being inspired by Transformers Cyberverse so this here is Shadow Striker here we have what I believe is the G2 repaint of Dragstrip 
here is the Studio Series Deluxe Class Bumblebee, which is a comparison more so to just give you guys a sense of scale. And to kind of jump on the whole repaint slash retool conspiracy hype train, here we have Transformers Prime Cliff Jumper, who I most definitely think is going to become this chase in the future because the chest design is almost identical. I think the legs are very similar in terms of design. If they were to basically just swap out the light bar, swap out the head, and completely change the color scheme, then bang, you would have yourselves a Prime Universe Cliff Jumper. And Hasbro are a little short on their Prime Universe characters for Legacy Year 3. So I definitely think this is a character which we could potentially see in the future. Here is the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Ironhide. And then finally, the absolute go-to, the Transformers Earthrise Optimus Prime. Now let's check out this guy's transformation, which is actually really enjoyable. So the first step would be to take a hold of this panel that has the Autobot logo on it and basically just pull it here towards yourself. We can then grab a hold of the windshield and lift this here up and over the top of his head. Once you reach this point, we can then take this panel and fold it here back over. Personally, I would recommend to leave the windshield at this angle and don't slide it completely under the light bar just yet as it will need to be in this position for a later step. What we can then do is grab a hold of these shoulders and bring Bring these here all the way up on both sides so hinge those up like that we can then flip here to the soles of the feet take what were originally the heel spurs and just begin snapping these pieces here down you'll then want to grab a hold of the outer part of the leg and bring this here towards yourself just like that that will then free up the back joints so that we can then begin completely extending out these transformation hinges we can then rotate here at the thigh and then what you're going to do is grab a hold of what originally was the foot and slide this here backwards using the ankle pivot joint and then just slide the headlights here down come around here to this side and do the same so slide the outer panel towards yourself completely extend those transformation joints rotate here at the thigh take a hold of the foot slash the ankle rocker and slide this here all the way back you're then going to want to grab a hold of the headlights snap those there into place and then we can begin combining these pieces directly down the middle so first of all make sure this connection is secure then we can begin combining the front part of the vehicle just like this then what you're going to do is grab a hold of those hip joints and bring these here all the way forwards now, as I mentioned previously, the windshield has to be at this position so that it can perfectly slide underneath the front part of the vehicle, just like that. With that now complete, we can then take the shoulders, hinge these here backwards, and these little white tabs are going to slide underneath. So just make sure that those are tabbed in. Come here to this side and do the same. So snap these pieces here into place. We can then flip here to the sides. These little white tabs are actually going to slide underneath, just like that spin around here to this side and do the same so slide those there underneath flip this guy back around here to the underside and these little kind of tabs are going to slide gently into these slots so just give that a good squeeze as tight as you can get it so it should be looking along the lines of this we can now take these panels here slide them down and these tiny little white tabs are supposed to slide underneath the doors just like that spin around here to this side and do the same so slide this here down slide those tabs underneath the doors and bang, here we have Rescue Bot's Chase, fully transformed into his police car. And it's actually a really solid looking alt mode. I mean, pretty decent details here up front. I love the light bar. This super sick translucent red and blue plastic looks awesome. I also don't mind the yellow tint that we have for the windows. That's pretty cool. And even the back part of the car has been completely detailed as well as filled in. I mean, it really is not an ugly vehicle by any means. As we flip it here to the underside, this is how it stacks up. And we also get these dual exhaust pipes on the sides, which again, I'll be touching base with a little more once we check out a few comparisons but yeah all round it's a really nice alt mode if i were to be critical it's that the wheels are not pinned on they are mushroom pegged on so unfortunately he doesn't glide nowhere near as freely as we saw from the animated universe bumblebee which i think is a slight shame especially as he's an enforcement officer he would need to have high speed in order to track down the decepticon super fast but in terms of visuals this is looking banging and as we check out his accessories, as mentioned previously, if you wanted to, you could completely detach the side cannons to create for a slightly more generic looking police car. And in terms of the Energon Capture Claw, it simply does just peg here up top. Would have been amazing had they found a way to have made use of some of this kind of empty space that we have here on the underside. But to be fair, this isn't a bad look. And as I mentioned previously, the claw can be split into three individual components. So perhaps if this guy is in pursuit of two Decepticons, he can whack these bad boys out on either side, taser them, or take them clean out even in his alt mode. 
Now, as we check out a few vehicle mode comparisons, on the left we have Chase and on the right we have Strongarm. So, two legacy Autobot enforcement agents. I think it's about time Hasbro delved into the movie universe and gave us a Decepticon barricade as an equivalent to these two, as I think as a trio they would look pretty sick. Here is the Cyberverse Universe Shadow Striker, just so you guys can see how these two pair. The GT repaint of Dragstrip. Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Bumblebee. Again, whacking out that Transformers Prime Cliff Jumper, as even in vehicle modes, there are some striking similarities. So, first up, the placement of the dual exhausts. If they do not repaint and retool this guy into a Cliff Jumper, then it will be an absolute waste of a mold, as the potential is crazy. They could really do it, and to be honest, I think it could potentially turn out as being one of the strongest Prime Universe figures that Legacy has so far brought out, because the robot and the vehicle, if they were to get rid of the light bar and give us the iconic horns up front, it would be super accurate to how Cliff Jumper did appear in Transformers Prime, so I would definitely be welcome to that. Studio Series Voyager Class Ironhide. And then finally, again, the absolute go-to, we have Earthrise Optimus Prime. And so, wrapping up on this review for the Transformers Legacy United Deluxe Class Chase. First up, it's wicked to see them delving into the Rescue Bots universe, as when that show did originally debut, the toy line was played with incredibly gimmick heavy figures, which ultimately just weren't fit for us collectors. Rescue Bots is now at a point where it's 15 years old, most of its original viewers have now grown up to be at a point where they are after some slightly more accurate, more poseable versions of some of their fan favourite characters, and it is wicked that they are now giving us that in Transformers Legacy. I mean, if you were to tell me a year ago or two years ago that we would be seeing legacy versions of rescue bot characters i would think you were crazy as i never thought this would be a universe that they would touch for the generations line so wicked to see a bit more diversity sprinkled in to chapter three i really like this guy i think the robot mode is super solid he's not too stylized for the most part he definitely matches what we saw from the original tv show articulation is decent with the exception of maybe the shoulders being a little too similar to studio series hot rod slash rise of the beast optimus prime but they're definitely workable accessories i think are fantastic i mean this guy I comes with three and they are the three most iconic ones that are used on the show so that's brilliant the transformation is very straightforward the legs have quite a few neat tricks to kind of spice things up and in terms of the police car mode i think it looks banging it's super solid again they definitely need to take this and retool it into a cliff jumper as i think it would be an excellent figure to kind of base that character design off of so if you are a fan of transformers rescue bots then this is without a doubt one of the best figures that have come out from that tv show so far i'd love to get your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below what do you guys think about rescue bots being injected into the legacy universe and until my next review i'll see you then thanks for watching